STEMI stuff. I'm here today to show you our electric guitar in a bag kit and how to put it together. This kit contains everything that you need aside from a piece of wood to create a very simple working electric guitar. All the parts are in there. You need just a few basic tools found in just about any home and you can complete an electric guitar in as little as a half an hour. The first thing you're going to find when you open that bag is a set of basic instructions for assembling this kit. You're also going to find a full-size neck template that lays out the location of every important part on the guitar neck. An eye bolt, a couple of washers, and a wing nut are going to serve as a very basic tuning machine. A couple of pieces of square doweling that you're going to use as a nut and a saddle. There's a piece of plastic in there. That's your jack plate and a few screws to attach it to the neck. An output jack a guitar string, a strong neodymium magnet. Your pickup coil is a coil of very fine copper wire wound around a plastic bobbin. And of course, a STEMI stuff guitar pick. You're also going to need a few tools in order to complete this job. Nothing much. A sharp pencil, a Phillips bit screwdriver, a drill, and a couple of bits. The larger bit is a 3 16 bit and Anything smaller than an eighth will work for the other bit. You'll need a utility knife and a hot glue gun. Some tools that will be helpful but not necessary would be a square, a Forstner bit that's about an inch and an eighth is what we use, a wire stripper, a soldering iron, and just a little bit of solder. The neck can be made out of any kind of material at all. In fact, you could do it on your tree in your front yard. We use a piece of one by two hardwood uh, the actual dimension is an inch and a half by three quarters, and we cut it to 32 inches long. The first step in the assembly of the guitar is for you to lay out the positions of all the important parts on the piece of wood that you've selected. Use the neck template and take your time to do a good job. The locations of frets are really, really important. A little bit of an error will make your guitar play out of tune. So take your time and do a good job. We have our students use a square to square off where all those fret positions are going to be. This is a speed square. Any kind of a square, like a combination square or even a construction square, would work for this job. Once you have all of your positions laid out for your nut, saddle, all the frets, and where the holes are to be drilled, the next step is to drill the holes. Use a small bit, something an eighth of an inch or less, to drill the hole where uh, the string is going to come through. That's actually called the bridge. And on the other end, where the tuner is going to go, we use a 3 16 inch bit. Now before you do any more, you've got a little bit of a decision to make. It's going to depend on how fast you want to get this guitar done, and a little bit about how you want it to be able to play when it's all said and done. If you want to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible, we're just going to glue the pickup right to the front of the guitar, put the saddle on, and the nut on, we're not actually going to put any frets on there at all besides maybe some dots to show where those things are. You're going to find yourself maybe like a spare graduated cylinder that you got laying around and it's going to sound something like this. Real slidey like that. It's best play with the slide. It's not going to sound real good if you push the string down to the neck. It's better to play with the slide. If you've got a little more time or you want this thing to sound a little bit more like an actual guitar and to be able to use some frets, you're going to need to find something to use as fret material like a coat hanger or some nails with the heads and the tips clipped off, uh, a little bit of uh, paper clips, anything like that will work. You're going to glue those down to the neck, but before you do, you want to make sure that you sink that pickup down into the neck somehow. So we got to make a pocket for the pickup to sit in and you're going to get something that sounds a little more like this. In order to make that pocket for the pickup to sit in, the easiest way is with a Forstner bit. We use an inch and an eighth Forstner bit to drill that hole. You could also chisel it or find any other number of ways to cut that material out. If you're going to fret your guitar, it makes a lot of sense to cut little grooves for those frets to sit in so that when you glue them, they stay put. You can see we're doing it with a utility knife here. You can use any kind of material you want to for the frets. Coat hanger works very well. We've also used just wire, nails with the heads and tips clipped off of it, or even paper clips for that. 
thumbtacks would work as well. You just need something hard to push the string against. If you have access to a table saw, you can cut these slots really quickly, just like you see here, if you set the blade very low and use a miter gauge. The next thing we need to do is we need to carve a slot, a groove for the string to sit in into both our saddle and our nut. Now how deep that groove has got to be depends on the kind of guitar you're going to build. If you're building uh, the, the slide style guitar, the fast one, where the pickup is just glued to the face of the neck, then you're going to be gar carving just the, the smallest little groove into the saddle and also a, a very shallow groove into the nut. You can see on this one that I'm working on, it's just a, the tiniest little groove for that string to sit in, just enough to hold it over the top of that pickup. If you're going to build more like the fretted guitar version of the, of the guitar, then you're going to have to carve a pretty deep groove into the saddle and a pretty deep groove into the nut. There's a couple of reasons why you want to do that. First, the pickup is sitting down lower into the neck of the guitar because we've recessed it into that pocket. We want the string to be as close to the pickup as it can be without buzzing, actually hitting that pickup. Even when I'm playing a real high note, I need that string to be high enough so it doesn't buzz on the pickup, but low enough so that the pickup can pick it up. The other reason we want it to be low is if your string action is too high, if we leave that string way up and we have to push really hard down in order to get the string down to the fret, we increase the tension on the string when we do that, and the guitar plays out of tune. Next, you're going to glue your nut and saddle down into the positions that you marked out on the face of the neck. This is also kind of one of your last chances to have a good opportunity to sand the back of your neck and make it nice and smooth. We sometimes will use a router with a one half inch rounding bit in order to round those back edges of the neck off and make it very comfortable to hold in your hand and slide up and down the neck. The next step is going to be to attach the pickup coil uh, and magnet together to the front of the neck or down into the pocket that you've made in the neck. Just take that magnet, pop it into the middle of the coil, make yourself a nice puddle of hot glue on the neck push it down in there good or down into that pocket good and it'll set. After that we're going to attach the jack plate. It doesn't really matter which orientation or where you put this jack plate as long as the leads from the pickup will reach it. We put it on the end of the guitar a lot if we're just making a real basic one. If you're going to make some nice guitar put it where you want to put it or even skip it all together. I'd put it on pretty loosely to start because we're going to put this jack on and then do some soldering and we don't want to crack that plastic. We'll tighten it all up when everything's on. Place the jack through the large hole, put the nut back on, and tighten that up. To assemble the tuning machine, put a washer onto the eye bolt, put the eye bolt through the hole, and put a washer and a wing nut on the other side, and you want that to be really loose. You want to be able to turn like that. You need to strip the lead wires on that pickup. You can do that with a utility knife. If you're careful, a wire stripper works even better. Take the stripped ends of the wires and feed them through the tiny holes in the two terminals on the jack. It doesn't matter which wire goes to which terminal. There's no polarity. Once you get them kind of twisted into place, you'd be okay. This would work. It would make it a lot more secure and last a lot longer if we solder those joints. Get that terminal good and hot and then run some solder in in order to seal everything up and hold it tight. Next, take your guitar string and thread it up through the bottom of the neck, up onto the face, over the saddle, over the nut, and then through that tuner. Go back around underneath the string and then pull the string over the top of itself and crimp it. Then you'll want to twist and twist until you can get it starting to wrap around the bottom of that eye bolt. As far as tuning it goes, you can't be out of tune in a one-string guitar. If you're going to play by yourself, you'll always be in tune, but if you're going to play with somebody else, you'll want to make sure that the note on your guitar is the same as the note on their guitar. Tighten up the wing nut when you get it where you want it, and it'll hold tight. Well, there you have it. It's the Stemmy Stuff electric guitar in a bag electric guitar, and this is just the most basic model. It's the least you could do. You can spend up to eight or ten weeks in a class investigating all the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics involved in electric guitars and produce some really nice guitars in your class. These are some guitars that have been made by our students recently. And, well, let's test it out. It's time to plug in and rock and roll. Graduated cylinder around here someplace. 
She blinded me with science and hit me with technology. Hey, keep it stemmy. <laughs>